Welcome to the Reimagining OER Discovery Mapping OER to Transfer Courses Lightning Talk. My name is Janice Overmeyer and I'm going to give you an overview of the organization responsible for this project and the project itself. But first I'd like to introduce myself and my co-presenters. Paula S. Kaiser is the Digital Scholarship Librarian and Assistant Professor at Washington and Lee University in Lexington, Virginia. Sophie Rondo is the Viva Assessment and eResources Program Analyst based in Richmond, Virginia. And I'm Janice Overmeyer, an OER and research librarian at Marymount University, a small private liberal arts college in the Washington, D.C. area. A little about the organization behind this project. The Mapping Project is a project of Virginia's Academic Library Consortium, VIVA for short. Members include all of the 39 state-assisted colleges and universities, the six doctoral universities, nine four-year institutions, 24 community and two-year branch colleges, as well as 31 of the independent, private nonprofit institutions and the Library of Virginia. Viva's mission is to provide, in an equitable, cooperative, and cost-effective manner, enhanced access to library and information resources for the Commonwealth of Virginia's nonprofit academic libraries. Viva enhances learning and levels the academic playing field for Virginia students by providing equal access to high-quality electronic resources to students at all member institutions. Viva's focus on equity made championing OER a natural fit. Through a grassroots movement in the state, Vivo began a pilot in 2016 with the Open Education Network. During the 2018-2020 biennium, the Virginia General Assembly awarded $600,000 in continuing funds to support a new open and affordable course content program. Now I'm going to give you a brief overview of Viva's open and affordable initiatives to put our project into context. Viva investigates and supports open educational resource and access models that increase access and affordability to high-quality educational resources for Virginia students. Their multi-pronged effort includes an open and affordable course content committee made up of representatives from all institution types in the state, the administration and funding of a course redesign grant program and other OER-related grants, an OER repository called Viva Open, a curriculum-driven acquisitions program, access to a faculty textbook portal, and last but not least, the Transfer Course Mapping Project. Finally, before I pass the virtual mic to Paula, I'll give you a brief overview of the Transfer Virginia Project and the Viva Mapping Project. In 2019, the State Council on Higher Education in Virginia and the Virginia Community College System partnered to launch a new initiative in Virginia to develop consistency across Virginia lower-level courses offered at both the community college level and at four-year institutions. To date, there's no common course catalog across the state. To streamline the transfer from a community college to a four-year institution, Transfer Virginia, the name of the project, aims to ensure these courses are equivalent at all levels and help ease the burden for students to transfer to a four-year institution from a community college. The Transfer Virginia team consists of faculty members from community colleges and both public and private four-year colleges and universities. The VIVA Mapping Project was conceived when the VIVA staff learned about the Transfer Virginia Project and saw an opportunity to pilot an OER mapping project by pairing the common course syllabi produced by Transfer Virginia with relevant OER and making the mapped OER available to Virginia educators via the VIVA Open Repository. The ultimate aim of the mapping project is to support faculty in the discovery of open materials. Several studies have concluded that the number one barrier to OER adoption is discovery. In a nutshell, a VIVA course mapping task force, made up of representatives from all of our institution types, oversees the workflows and curation. My colleague Paula will now take the mic and take you through our process. The Transfer Virginia disciplinary working groups create templates that outline course objectives, topics, and learning outcomes. The Transfer Virginia courses are large enrollment, lower level courses in all major disciplines, from math to political science, history to physics, economics, English, world languages, biology, and more. The Transfer Virginia templates serve the curation efforts of the course mapping task force as the task force searches existing OER in an effort to find resources that cover the topics taught in the transfer courses. The task force consolidates curated OER in Viva Open, Viva's hosted OER Commons website, following a similar organizational structure to that used by the Louisiana Library Network and their hosted OER Commons website. Additionally, course alignment tags are assigned to the resources, which serve to gather resources together by discipline and course in a hub dedicated to the VCCS transfer courses. 
In collaboration with ISKMI, the Institute for the Study of Knowledge Management in Education, the task force drafted a detailed curation guide that includes workflows and instructions for anyone working on the course mapping project. This guide ensures that everyone takes the same steps and is consistent in organizing and tagging materials within Viva Open. The course mapping task force is a group within Viva Open, which creates a workspace where members can organize identified OER within a hierarchy of folders. Once members are assigned completed Transfer Virginia courses, they find the relevant course templates and review the covered content areas. Members then search within Viva Open, OER Commons, and other external repositories for resources that match the content in the course template. The task force members then save the OER to folders in the course mapping group in Viva Open and assign alignment tags to each resource. Course alignment tags are imported into Viva Open through ISKME's development team. The alignment tags are filtered by institution, subject, and course number. A resource can have more than one alignment tag, and users can filter using the tags within Viva Open. As these tags are added to resources, they automatically populate into collection buckets associated with each discipline in the VCCS Transfer Course Mapping Hub in Viva Open. OER can be filtered by course alignments in each collection. The task force uses a series of spreadsheets to keep track of who is assigned to which subject areas, what subjects have templates ready to use, and what courses need more work. To determine if a resource should be added to the collections in the hub, members use rubrics to rank its comprehensiveness, comparing the contents of the resources to the content areas in the course template and the quality of the explanation of the subject matter. Some resources map strongly and cover every content area for the course, while others need to be combined with other resources. Curators include as many resources as relevant in order to give teaching faculty several options to use in their course. The task force felt that the project would be stronger if teaching faculty reviewed the selections, and from this idea, the faculty sprint was born. I'm Sophie Rondeau, and I'm going to talk to you about the Course Mapping Faculty Review Sprints. An essential component to the Course Mapping Project involves faculty reviews of curated materials. To actively encourage faculty reviews, Viva hosted its first Biology Faculty Review Sprint in late July 2020, followed by a sprint in Music and History in late October 2020. Faculty from doctoral, four-year, and two-year institutions reviewed OER curated within the context of Transfer Virginia courses. The URLs to the OER in Viva Open and the Transfer Virginia course templates were shared with participating faculty. The course templates provide faculty with detailed course objectives, topics, and learning outcomes. Using Rubric 2 from the Achieve OER rubrics, Faculty are asked to rate the quality of explanation of subject matter. They are also asked to rate the resource for comprehensiveness to determine the extent to which the OER covers topics addressed in the courses. In some instances, faculty may be reviewing an OER in consideration for more than one course and are asked to review the resource from the perspective of its suitability for each course. The sprints are hosted synchronously during an allocated four and a half hour time frame to support a cohort structure that enables faculty to share and learn from each other, as well as to address issues in real time as faculty encounter them. Viva provides faculty with a stipend for their time and expertise and is planning to host review sprints for many, if not all disciplines covered in the Transfer Virginia project. Following the sprint, a faculty reviewed endorsement is applied to OER considered suitable for the course or for which the faculty member would recommend to a colleague, and standardized comments of their reviews are posted to Viva Open. Additionally, OER that were not deemed suitable are removed from the hub. Including faculty reviews of curated OER has benefited the course mapping project tremendously. 
Not only because comments and endorsements can be applied to the OER for interested faculty to see, but also because of what we learn about what faculty value in curricular materials for students at this level in their education for these particular courses. An engaged cohort model really brought this point home as faculty shared with the cohort their assessment of OER. What's more, several faculty said they reviewed materials they would consider adopting for their courses and or share with their colleagues.